CBS Sunday Morning has broadcast its interview with Barack Obama, from which the juiciest bits about Donald Trump's refusal to concede defeat to Joe Biden and Republicans' support for him were trailed earlier and are blogged here below. There was a nice moment at the end of Gail King's interview where Obama was asked about how he will help Joe Biden when his former vice president takes office in January, as he assuredly will, however much Trump shouts and throws tantrums on Twitter. He doesn't need my advice, and I will help him in any ways that I can, Obama said. Now, I'm not planning to suddenly work on the White House staff or something. Asked if he would consider a cabinet position, Obama continued. There are some things I would not be doing because Michelle would leave me. She'd be like, what? You're doing what? King also elicited a funny answer about what happens when the trappings of office. In this instance the presidential motorcade are gone. I'm driving along, Obama said, laughing. I'm still not driving, but I'm in the car. I'm in the car in the back seat and I'm looking at my iPad or something. And suddenly, we stop and I'm like, what's going on? There's a red light. There's a car right next to us. Some kids are eating a burrito or something in the back seat. Back to life. Obama's interview with CBS 60 Minutes will be broadcast tonight. A win for Joe Biden has renewed hope for the US and the world. Millions of readers, including from Vietnam like you, have turned to The Guardian to follow and understand the presidential race. After four years of turmoil, misinformation, manipulation and division, the result of this historic election offers fresh promise for democracy and progress. We know it's been a turbulent time and an agonizing wait, but a new era is upon us. It's never been more important for The Guardian to report the facts with responsibility, integrity and independence. We've done just that, and will continue to bring you quality news and clear, intelligent analysis. Now is the time to support a free press and The Guardian's open, independent journalism. We're free from political or commercial influence, so we can report fearlessly on critical world events, bringing you a reliable, international perspective. Support from readers funds our work, protects our autonomy and motivates us in our mission. It means we can keep our journalism open for everyone, including readers like you in Vietnam. Every contribution, however big or small, makes a difference.